The glitz and the glamour, all in a day's work for drag queen Satine Allure. Drag is an art form. Drag is no different than someone putting on a wig, makeup, and a costume, getting on a stage, and putting on a play. But it's Pride Month, and this show in Cary, North Carolina, is different. It's not Bright Light's big city. It's story time for children. He took pride in his pies, cakes, bars. For organizers, this event is taking place against an alarming rise in anti-LGBTQ plus harassment and attacks nationally. A recent study showing a four-fold increase in incidents from 2020 to 2021. And the Anti-Defamation League tracking seven incidents over the course of just one weekend this month. It's sexual. Thank you. It's sexual. In California's Bay Area, protesters at one Drag Queen Story Hour event got especially heated. Eight to ten Proud Boys marched in with their cameras blazing, pointed at me, um, jeering from the back. A group of men affiliated with the Bay Area chapter of the Proud Boys entered the San Lorenzo Library during the children's event. Host Panda Dulce said they shouted slurs and accusations at her. They said, who brought the tranny? Um, it's a groomer. It's a pedophile. Um, why do you bring your kids to this event? Two little girls I support and I love. And I will never allow you to take them. Nope. After ABC News reached out to the far right group for comment, the Bay Area chapter posting a statement on social media saying, the Bay Area Proud Boys peacefully assembled and we condemn the willingness of the media to ignore our message against harming children while slandering our great name. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office is working with the FBI and prosecutors to investigate this as a possible hate crime. I would say domestic terrorism took place. I, I think that uh, a group of men decided to walk into a library and terrorize Americans. Beatrice Thomas, also known by her drag name Black Benatar, is the president of the National Board for Drag Queen Story Hour and serves as director for the Bay Area chapter. What's the mission uh, of Drag Queen Story Hour? What, what's the goal? We are a program that promotes authenticity, literacy, and children's safety. What was your group's response to that day? We were in a anti-violence project training, uh, maybe a day or two after the incident. It's like, we need to have some understandings and policies around when to call the police and how to call the, call the police. We need to have some dialogue with the venue itself, understanding what are their protocols. At pride parades this past weekend, after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, some Americans concerned that other rights, like same-sex marriage, could be next to go. All this as more than 300 anti-LGBTQ plus bills were introduced this year in state legislatures across the country. We're actually seeing a rise in anti-LGBTQ hate. Jonathan Greenblatt is CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, which tracks extremist groups and hate in America. So what is that telling us? So this bar chart captures data from our latest annual online hate and harassment survey. And as you can see here, 66% of the LGBTQ users that we surveyed report being harassed. That is more than double, you can see, of almost any other minority group. The coordinated attacks on the LGBTQ people that we're experiencing right now in the country are taking an enormous toll on our community. Sarah Kate Ellis is the president and CEO of GLAAD, an advocacy group focusing on LGBTQ plus issues and representation. You want to have a moment where you can stop fighting, stop defending who you are, stop defending your humanity and just be. And it just seems like for the LGBTQ community, it never lets up. On the same day as the Drag Queen Story Hour incident in California, in Idaho, Pride in the Park was underway. Bystanders captured video of a larger than normal police presence. Authorities responding to a tip, pulling over a U-Haul within 10 minutes of the call. They had shields, shin guards, um, and other riot gear with them, including uh, at least one smoke grenade. Those 31 individuals have been arrested for conspiracy to riot. At this point, they appear to be affiliated with the group Patriot Front. The Patriot Front is a white nationalist group. They really prioritize 
the public event. They wear masks, they wear baseball caps, they'll sometimes carry American flags, and then they'll march, like military style, down the street. ABC News reached out to the Patriot Front for comment, but they have yet to respond. The 31 men arrested in Idaho have all bailed out of jail. Many of them came from across state lines. We have individuals from Texas, Utah, Idaho, Colorado, South Dakota, Illinois, Arkansas, Wyoming, Washington, Oregon, and Virginia. Back in North Carolina, wave your wands. This drag queen story hour chapter has been getting disturbing messages all month long. It's lots and lots of people that are very misinformed about what we do, and um, it's really, really inappropriate things, really bordering on threats most of the time. They tell us that they don't want us to live anymore. This Drag Queen Story Hour event was delivered That's to a, a sold-out house. We weren't concerned about coming today, but we did think about it, of course, and what we would do if there were protesters. I have two young girls, and I think, you know, my husband and I think it's important to just expose them to as much diversity as we can. Pride doesn't feel any different this year for me. It's something we've dealt with for years, and it's something we, we're unfortunately going to have to keep dealing with until it eventually goes away. Until then, this community is choosing to ignore the hate and push forward with the familiar rallying cry. The show must go on. In order to change the world, you have to be out and you have to be present in the world. So, no, there's no need to, to cancel your Pride events. There's no reason to cancel your Drag Queen story hours because someone is going to be mad. Someone's going to show up but you have to show them love, because that's what it's all about. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.